I love being a firefighter. I don't feel like I'm completely myself without this job in my life. Well, I'm a volunteer firefighter for Prince George's County. I've been volunteering for like three years. Growing up, like even from like a little six-year-old, I wanted to be a paramedic or a firefighter. Uh, when I got out of high school, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I couldn't see myself doing anything else. You are the next generation of the fire service. I am 23 years old. I'm 15. I'm 19. I was born here. My parents, they are from El Salvador. I'm Hispanic, I'm Puerto Rican. I'm first generation Vietnamese American. My dad came from Hong Kong, he's Chinese. And my mom came from Germany. Volunteers can come in every size and shape. I'm a volunteer firefighter, but I'm also a career firefighter in the District of Columbia. But I do it for free because I can give back to the community in which I live. As a volunteer, you obviously have to get paid somehow. I work for a subcontractor for NASA on the Aerospace Division. I am a rocket scientist and I'm a volunteer firefighter. You really need to bring your A game. You need to bring your physical game, you need to bring your mental game, and also you need to be an inspiration to others. I play basketball, softball, tennis, and I did all this to build up my confidence and my cardio and all my workout habits. I get a lot of joking around with my size that I'm not some big muscle man, but I can actually do more in a confined space than any other firefighters. I had a call last week. I had a 15-year-old suicide patient. She was just a baby, just a baby. She opened up to me and I told her that everyone have their different type of crisis. There's nothing better than helping people but at the same time enjoying what you do. Those kind of calls where I'm working one-on-one -on -one with somebody and I have to help them believe that they are brave enough to make it through that situation, that is what I love to do. Everything's going to hell in a handbasket. You're the person that can come in and make it right. And so that is an honor for every single firefighter. My friends are very happy for me uh, and the choices that I've made and they have wanted to follow suit and they have also wanted to volunteer. My friends thought that I was crazy because they didn't think that I would have the training in order to go and do the stuff that I was doing. The area that we grew up in, we grew up around a lot of rape, violence, stabbings, shootings. I knew that I didn't want to be a part of the problem. I wanted to be a part of the solution. Just because you grew up in poverty or just because you may not be rich or you don't come from a, a firefighter background, doesn't matter. I'm living proof and you can be a firefighter as well. I'm living the dream. Firefighting surprises me every day. It challenges me in new ways every single day. Uh, what really surprised me about myself was uh, I was very shy. When I started riding, I was a little shy, basically what the paramedics and the firefighters were trying to encourage me to do was come out there and give my two cents, my opinion. They gave me a lot of confidence. It actually gave me a lot, of, a lot of confidence to be like how to do things on my own. I know it takes confidence to listen. And honestly, it just, it made me proud of myself. I started firefighting when I was 16 and I still remember the moment when I walked into the firehouse and had the giant trucks on either side of me and kind of walked between them and I just, something clicked for me and I knew that is where I was supposed to be. It's just like home. It's, it's you're with your brothers and your sisters from another mother. Um, you get to watch TV, you get to get on the internet, you make phone calls. I'm a resident volunteer and I actually live in the fire station. <laughs> I actually live at the firehouse without paying rent. <laughs> it's a mixed firehouse. It's career and volunteer. It's like, we come in anytime we want. I come on my own time, I volunteer whenever is needed. Volunteering allowed me to get satisfaction out of life while I was searching, and it can even help you figure out a career that's possible for you that you didn't even know you existed. Being a volunteer firefighter, especially in the community that you, uh, you live in, helps the people not only recognize you but understand you. I speak fluent Spanish. It's really important to know a second language. 
Being able uh, to translate has definitely allowed me to uh, be much more comfortable with the um, diversity of the community. A qualified, diverse, and all-inclusive workforce provides the fire service with a better opportunity to serve our communities. The way that the world is progressing, fires burn differently, cars crash differently. So it's an ongoing learning process. I have two uh, seven-month-old boys, they're twins. At 19, I feel like I have a lot more training than pretty much anybody else my age right now that's even still just getting out of school or anything. I feel like I have a lot more training and that I can actually go somewhere with my life. <laughs> When you're applying for a job, they're going to love that you volunteered. Not only is it going to get your name out, of there, out there, but it's also going to show and prove that you have enough drive, that you want this bad enough, that you're willing to do it for free. You have to be able to work with a really calm head. You have to be able to um, take direction well and take initiative to problem solve. It's best to work out, be healthy, you know, you have to be uh, stable. We, we have a very heavy job. You know, you, you're taking care of other people's lives and you want to do your best at it as, you know, maintaining yourself as well. You need to be emotionally invested and enthusiastic. There is a place for you here, whether you're big or small, short or tall, we need you. I want to inspire others um, to do the same, that you can make your own decisions, you can create your own path and you're, you're not you don't have to be in the circle of life that you've always been in you can make your own decisions and be who you want to be I love this job because I feel like I found my place in the world even though you might not know what you want to do with your life there's so much to do in the volunteer fire service so check out your local fire department Forget. And all our lives have been blessed because we're simply the best. And we thank you. I admire your quest for fire, the one that always burns inside. After all you've been through, you still continue in memory of the ones that fought and died. So we're thanking you. See ya!